In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. At welcome po sa seventh night of our simbang gabi. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, we pause for a while, acknowledge our sins and failures, and be sorry for them. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may win at that he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The happiness of Jerusalem originated from the presence of the Lord. This foreshadowed the joy experienced by Elizabeth in receiving the visit of Mary Most Holy, who was in her womb the Savior of the world. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, a daughter is Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, a daughter, Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. 
He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in His love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-stringed lyre chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Please stand. Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law, come to save us, Lord our God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country to in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant left in her womb, and Elizabeth, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are those who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi mo muli sa ating lahat. Nasa... Ikapitong gabi na tayo ng ating simbang gabi sa gabi kasi merong umaga. At kaya mo po, kaya mo, kaya po ba ninyo uli? Dalawa na lang ng gabi pagsasagaan natin. Kayang-kaya, di ba? Actually, gaya ka this morning, may nasa loob mo akong taga-parokya. Isa ko, 
Kompleto ba ba yung simbang gabi mo? Ay naku, Father, lumampas na sa siyam na gabi. Kasi pito, ha, a, anim, na, ha, a, anim na sa gabi, umaaten rin sa umaga kasi yung anak niyang hindi pwede sa gabi, sinasamaan niya sa umaga. Tiyagaan <laughs> niya naman, kayang-kaya, di ba ba? Imagine, ganong paraan. So, nalampas siya na yung nine, uh, nine days na nabinaryo itong pagdating ng Christmas. Kaya, kayang-kaya. Kaya, kung titingnan natin sa'yo sa gospel ngayon, gaya na nasabi ni Padre Roland ka uh, kaninang umaga, kayang-kaya talaga ni Maria kahit na buntis napuntahan si Elizabeth. Bakit? Sabi ng mga professor namin sa sa theology, it is a uh, custom ng mga hudyong babae na kapag may mga kamag-anak silang buntis, no? sila nagtutulungan. Ngunit ang purpose siguro sa tingin natin, ganyan pinaliwanag sa atin ng mga araw, ng pagpunta doon ni Maria ay hindi lamang para alamin yung mga kababalaghang kabutihan na binigay sa kanya at kay Elizabeth. Ngunit kung makikita niyo po, sino mga sumasaya sa dalawa? Si Juan Bautista, tumalun sa tiyan. <laughs> siya, siya nakaramdam sa presence of the Lord at Mary. Kaya masayang masaya. No? Kaya kung titingnan natin, kayang-kaya po talaga natin kung nakaya ng malabirin sa kanyang katayuan, eh tayo man, isang magandang halimbawa siguro na pinapalala sa atin, nakakayanan, nakakayanan, kakayanin natin gawin kung talagang gusto, gugustuin natin. Alam niyo, may nagtitek sa aking kaklase ko sa Mindanao. Meron rin silang simbang gabi, pero hindi gabi. Bakit? Ula na ulan sa gabi, kaya hintay nilang lumiwanag kasi ba putik, baha, eh, saka sila pupunta sa ibahan para naman hindi sila ma maputikan, no? So, alam nyo, swerte natin ngayon, no? Napakabait sa atin ng Diyos. Kaya nga sabi ko nga, hindi tayo nagsasawa na pumunta sa gabi, pati na sa araw, hindi lamang para kompleto ng nangis, as much as possible, the more we are enjoying this. Kahit nga kami pong mga kasama ko mga pare, alam nyo, hindi rin silang sasawa. May, may minsan na yung regular masin sa umaga, meron pang sa barangay na simbang gabi, meron pa sa gabi, meron naman sa umaga. Bakit? Eh, kami rin, kami rin po nag enjoy No? Sapagkat nakikita natin yung response ng mga tao. Kaya, kung ang bagay na ito, may, may maintain lang natin sa, atin, sa bawat isa sa atin, yung kayang-kaya natin gawin, kakayanin anong uh, hinihiling sa atin ng simbahan. Just like for example, bakit kapag may nangungumpisal, laging nauna, I miss going to bass on Sunday. No, isa pong, isang araw lang yun, sa isang linggo, pero itong consistency natin sa simbang gabi, kaya natin kahit nine days, kahit siguro 18 days, may dagdag pang evening, sa kasano. Sapagkat alam natin na malaking tulong to, no? Kaya kung nahihikayat natin, natuturoan natin na ating masarili, na consistent sa mga katungkulan natin, sa pag ginagawa natin, hindi para sa Diyos, para sa atin po yung kabutihan. Kaya nga, hindi tayo nagsasawa. Kaya, iwan naririnig na sa radyo na marami silang namimiss sa Pilipinas kapag Christmas, isa na dito yung simbang gabi. Sana naman, yung pagpupunta natin sa simbahan ay hindi lamang kapag simbang gabi <laughs> o Holy Week. Kung iba nga, sabi nila, pupunta sa simbahan kapag KBL yata yun, no? Kapag biniyagan ka, kapag kinasal ka, kapag ililibing ka, no? Nakalimutan natin yung mga bagay-bagay na mag magahari sa ating kaluban, magyayamanit ang ating kaluban, 
sa pamagitan ng mga, sabi nga, pagpapala ng Diyos sa mga ginagawa natin. Sapagat ang ginagawa natin ganito, hindi naman pa tayo nag-expect something in return. Mali po yun, no? Baka maya, yung hinihiling yun, hindi nangyari. Ano na lang? Sisisihin nyo ang Diyos? Sisisihin nyo ano? Hindi. Baka merong kulang pa talaga. Kulang pa yung ginagawa natin. Sasabihin natin, sobrang-sobra na yun. Sobrang sakripisyo na yun. Bakit mo pinepresyoin yung ginagawa mo? Kulang pa nga yan. Kaya sabi ko, if we are consistent, we should be consistent not only during special days ng ganito, kundi yung kahit na lang once, ano, one, every Sunday, yun na lang. Sabagat napakaraming dahilan kung bakit ayaw natin pumunta pagliko, huwag natin pagkasopan yun. Ngunit alam natin na napakalaga yun sapagat na doon tayo nakikinabang sa hindi lamang sa salita ng Diyos, hindi lamang sa kumunyon na si Kristo naging party natin. Alam niyo po, kahit nga yan sinabi ng CBCP na diniscourage yung live streaming, marami pa pong nagpapasalamat sa manawag. Tuloy pa rin yung panunod nila. Meron pong mga gaya ng mga kumbento ng mga madre na nakaratay sa kama. Eh, alam man, dalay mo sila lahat sa chapel. So, sa TV na lang sila. And they enjoy. At titignan mo, lahat naka-hook up sa manawag. So, ang suwerte-suwerte po talaga natin. Eh, tayong nandito na nga, dapat tayo may sumak. Kaya nga, yan, ang, yan po ang nagandang example na ginagawa natin. Kaya, kahit na may mga tatanong sa akin sa sinong bisita na, kumusta siya sa manawag? Sa, Bakit napakaraming tao? Ewan ko, hindi ko kayo masagot. Normal na po yan dito sa Manawang kung bakit punong-puno ang simbahan, anumang, or anumang misa, anumang special occasion, sapagkat nagre-respond yung mga tao. Nakikikita mo natin ang kapatiyan ng Diyos sa ating ginagawa. Kaya ng pakatandaan natin sa buhay natin para laging malago sa aming nga. Lagi ito buhay. Eh, huwag natin kakalimutan yung mga bagay-bagay na natutuhan natin, ginagawa natin na hindi dapat kailigtaan. Hindi sapagkat failure to observe them, lagi lang kasalanan, no? Hindi. Actually, hindi binibilang yung kasalanan. Hindi natin binibilang yung kabutihan. Kundi, the more we should accept yung kabutihan ng Diyos sa atin. Sabi ko nga, kahit nga Uh, alam niyo po, chismoso ako, no? Every morning, yung misa ko kumisan, nalata ko, Nap napakarami, nasa wheelchair. Ang sarap pakating. Kami pong mahirap lumaglakan, nasasaya na ako makita ang mga nasa wheelchair, no? Bakit? Masaya sila, no? Nakakapagsimba sila. Eh ano, kaya kayong tatatakbo pa nga kayo, malalakas pa inyong atuhod. Eh, sabi ko nga, kung kinaligtaan itong ganitong mga pamamaraan na mapalapit siya sa Diyos, baka after sa 26, wala na lahat. Ah, mali. That's why, ipagpatuloy natin, hikayatin hikayati natin na ating masarili na hindi lamang ginagawa na, sapagat ang mga bagay nito ay siyang mapapagpa, mapapag lalapit sa atin sa Diyos at sigurado naman ang grasya ni Diyos ay laging nasa sa atin. Hindi po tayo na huwag na natin hanapin ang grasya ng Diyos. Lagi po nandiyan. Mabuti ng iba, nakakaintindi. Madaling umumunawa. Gaya po nung last week, umunta kami sa Isabela. Ulan ng ulan. Siyempre, kung wala ng ulan, siguro sa atin dito, galit tayo. Pero masaya yung mga tao, Maulan, maulan. Sigilan sila, no? Kasi po, yung, yung binihin nila ng mais, ganun pala kalaki, no? Maliliit pa lang. So, kailangan ng ulan. So, it's important sa kanila yung tulong ng Diyos, ng kalik kalikasan, mga binihagan yung mga mais nila. Eh, alam nyo, na maganda, magiging magandang ani, no? Hindi sila nagre-reklamo na, ay, bahana. Ang hirap ng mga ulan. Yun, una nilang 
sa mga farmers yan ang unang pumapasok sa kanilang kukuti. Ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa kanila na nakikita nila harap-harapan. Yung buti lang ulan, napakalaking bagay. Kung wala yun, kaya nakikita natin sa TV yung, yung pa... Ay, hindi naman panakot. By April, mayroong... Uh, huwag natin ano yan, hindi tayo manghula. Magagawa ng paraan kung gugustuhin. Ngunit sa, sa buhay spiritual natin, yun lang, huwag natin kaligtan. Napakasimpleng bagay na kayang-kaya natin gawin. Huwag lang tayong tamarin at huwag natin hilayin na ating masirili para gampanan ito. Sapagat ang lahat ng itong ginagawa natin ay siguradong makakatulong na mabuti sa ating pamumuhay, sa ating pagsasamahan bilang isang uh, maka mga tao, mga Diyos, makabayan. Yung po lagi natin naririnig, no? Laging pinapalala sa ating sibahan at iyon ay laging nanggagaling kapag yung tao ay nakikita niya sa kanyang ginagawa at sa kanyang sarili ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Pagsitayo po tayo. My brothers and sisters, let us glorify the Father who chose the Virgin Mary to be the mother of His Son. Of the expedition we say, Lord, hear your people. Lord, hear your people. Through Mary's intercession, grant peace to our land, wisdom and strength to our church and civil leaders, and confidence and unity to our people. We pray. Lord, hear people. May parents foster love and holiness in their homes. May their children contribute to the building up of the family. And may the elderly be seen as guardians of the collective memory of the family and offer young people precious advice and guidance. We pray. Lord, hear people. May our homes be heavens of love and places of welcome for those who come in need. We pray. Lord, hear our people. May Filipino families living overseas serve as examples to other families in becoming a genuine domestic church by humbly and lovingly living out of the Christian vocation. We pray. Lord, hear your people. May those who have gone ahead of us find peace and eternal happiness, sharing the joy at the Master's table. We pray. Lord, hear your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear your people. Father, hear the prayers of your people. May we who celebrate with joy the birth of your Son as men rejoice in the gift of eternal life when He comes again in glory. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
to stand. Pray, may the brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by, this, by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Fountable holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks for you have uh, held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be, may we be gathered together in one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. By the Savior to men and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace will grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. <laughs> 
पीस भी विजय This is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong may sakit na humiling, na gumaling at makaiwas ang mga karamdaman. Isama na po natin yung mga sa bahay, yung makakilala niyo yung kailangan ng healing. Nakakarating po yan sa kanila. Pinapakinggan po yan una ng Diyos bilang pagdamay natin sa kanila. So lalahanin niyo po sila sa ating dasal. Salamat po. Ingat pa lang po sa pag -uwi. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries in other religious articles. In memory, the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.